Hello guys, this is Eleferia from Eleferia Business PR. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're well and enjoying the Christmas period. Merry Christmas, all the best for the new year. I'm sure we're all of us looking forward to change, you know, to leave behind all the negativity and move forward. So enjoy the holidays. So in today's video, I have a couple of tips on how to create a content market strategy and a couple of tips to give you for the next couple of months in order to, you know, to get some inspiration. So first of all, um, as you know, I upload videos every Thursday, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and you don't miss a thing. And you can ask me anything you want, leave your comments below. So starting by number tip number one where are you posting and how many times you posting for example if you are posting on facebook are you posting twice a day three times a day on instagram on twitter so make sure you get organized like what type of a content you need to create for the next couple of um months i know now it's christmas but still, people, they're going to read. I remember that people, they read it when they wake up. So maybe you give them a little bit of motivated quote in the morning, then a lunch. So maybe you give them something to read or a video later on. So keep, uh, you know, these things um, in your calendar because you really need to engage your audience and have a little, you know, plan to create your content strategy. Because remember that you're not going to be wasting time to do everyday stuff. Just create, you know, your content and be ready, have a little library on the side to take it out straight away so you wouldn't have wasting time. The other thing that I definitely recommend is just like that. I mean, um, have a little uh, source of data, like, for example, the images you're going to use on your Instagram. Have you scheduled for the next month what are you going to do on Instagram for the next two months what content you're going to create what images are you going to use on Twitter on Facebook um, what are you posting on Facebook I mean you need to write things down like infographics for instance reviews uh, cover all or reviews don't just waste in time just cover all your reviews Put them aside and have them ready for your customers when you need them at least you know to put them out there then create the plan to have like three to four months in advance sit down have a little brainstorm of what you're going to write like take the word motivation for instance like what a blog post or a video you should do about motivation if you are in a lifestyle business and then connect it with your services so this is one thing then also remember to keep an eye on your statistics not just post 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 and you know trying to make tra uh, track traffic and you don't keep an eye on what is working and what time is working for example what time you should post on instagram uh what is working on facebook on when is more um better engagement on Twitter and this is something also you need to keep in mind another tip like the fourth tip let's say is engagement again posting 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 things for people that are not engaged that is not very good so you need to focus on your engagement like reply to people's comments encouraging comments and um, follow people back encourage people to you know ask them a question in general engage with your audience and learn from your audience and remember we're all of us human beings so this is something you need to um you know keep in mind and also have a scheduler i mean is tell when as well and it's hot suit that is very popular people use it to schedule the post on facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram, etc. So use it. So if you just struggle, sit down though, have a little brainstorm, prepare your content for the next couple of months. What blog posts have you written so far? What you need to write? And you know, take a couple of steps back now since we are in Christmas and then focus on the new year to have a strategy. So, and also, as I say, always, I mean, added value. 
This is another tip, guys. You need to make sure whatever you're posting, adding value to your clients, to your audience, to your followers. So otherwise, people, they will stop following you. So make sure you are helping others with your content. And also something next is to the results. I mean, keeping out the results. Again, statistics. Uh, what is working for you? Um, what time is working for you? Facebook. Is it Facebook better? Do you get more um, organic traffic from there? Just do that. Focus on engagement or statistics is very, very important. But sit down, have a little plan for the next two to three months on how to create, you know, the... Uh, um, the content you need and keep this um, library aside like as i say the images the infographics keep them aside have them ready don't just do things totally last minute it's not it's not good for you is you know do things in advance and you can have more time for yourself so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, if you need anything leave your comments below Connect with me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know that you have seen my video or on Twitter. And uh, Merry Christmas and all the best for the new years, guys. That's it. No more negativity. I wish you well.